Hello guys, hello there. So today we want to know how to write a composition or a song uh, like this one. So this is Jingle Bells, a very common song. And you can see it is being written and this is the score. And we would like to know how you would write this one using Noteworthy Composer. So I have Noteworthy Composer open here. I'm gonna to I'm going to cascade the two windows together so that you can see both screens at the same time. So this is Jiggle Bells. This is the song I want to write. I have not the composer open here. <clears throat> so the first thing we are going to do, we are going to open a new file and you just come straight to the new file icon. You select a blank score and then you click OK. And then the title of the song is going to be Jingle Bells. That will be Jingle Bells. Then the name of the, of the author, uh, unfortunately the name of the author has not been given here. So we leave it like that. Uh, same with the copyright owner's name. And we just say OK. So it is going to give us some empty stuff like that. So what we are going to do is to look at the stuff on the on our song. So it is like this. Uh, so we have the first thing is a G clef or, or a treble clef, a treble clef. There it is. Then um, the next thing we see I hope you can zoom this enough for you guys to see. Uh, the next thing you see is that it is in the key signature of F major. So I go to the key signature and then I, I click on F. So you can see F has one flat, which is exactly what we have here. Then the next thing is the time signature, which is just a common time that is four form. And then uh, from there, the song starts. So you can see that the song starts with uh, uh, an A uh, in form of a quarter duration, which have staccatos. So how am I supposed to put the staccatos? So there are, there are two major ways of putting staccatos. As you can see, uh, from your uh, the, the tabs that have been given here or the icons that have been given here you can see that we have the staccato uh, icon up here so the staccato icon is up here so another way of putting a staccato is by pressing the comma as you can see from the shortcut there so I'm going to select the quarter duration and then I'm going to click on the staccato icon up there and then I'm going to, to press enter okay so there we go so the next uh, note is exactly the same way so since I've already highlighted the quarter duration I click on the staccato icon and then press enter so the next one doesn't have a staccato so i make sure that the staccato is not highlighted and i press on enter the next one is a rest so there are two ways of putting a rest i can use this button to put the rest or i can right click on the staff and say rest and it will still put it whichever one you choose it's going to be okay then 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 next we have a a bar line I just press on tab then we have exactly the same thing so the same set of key notes that continue in the next bar so allow me to just copy this just highlight it and then you copy and then you paste it onto the next bar and then you can put a bar line just like that then there we go the next bar is going to be we have a crochet of an A so we have a, an A is already highlighted then from there you use 
the, the, the cursor, your mouse to move the cursor, or you can use the arrow keys. So we need a C, as you can see there, which is again a crochet, and I use the crochet. Then next we have an F, which is dotted. So how do we put a dotted key? We put a dotted note, so we put a dotted note using the dotted duration up here. So you click on that uh, dotted uh, icon, then you press enter. Then next, you have an <coughs> uh, a quarter duration, click on it, and that then we have a balance, a balance. Then the next one, you're going to have a dotted. A uh, half duration, so half duration plus a dotted one. And remember, you can do, you can uh, make the note a, a dotted one by just pressing on the full stop on your keyboard. That is the shortcut. Then the next one we have a a, a, a crochet rest. So we click on the crochet and then we put a rest using your space bar. Then a tab for the bar line then you go ahead next we have uh, three quarter duration or three crochets which have been do, uh, which have uh, two half staccatos and this one is not a staccato instead it is a dotted duration but the quarter duration has a staccato so the next one so what i'm going to do i'm going to make sure that i'm on b and then i'm going to highlight uh, the quarter duration and the staccato and i put that i put it again and then the third one is going to be dotted just like it is on the music and then the fourth one is a quarter duration uh, sorry a eighth duration with a staccato like that then that bar comes to an end i put a bar line then you go ahead to the next bar whereby we have um, again we have some staccatos there so we start by a b flat which has a staccato so that's a crochet and a staccato like that then the next one is an a which has a staccato and then the next A doesn't have a staccato, but the next two A's are eighth durations with staccatos. So staccato, staccato, and then I'm going to put a bar line to end that bar, and then I'm going to have another staccato of a, of a crochet that will be there, and then you have a G. Again with a staccato to be there. Then you have another G, sorry. Just move the cursor to where the G is. And then move the cursor using the arrow keys. Uh, another staccato. And then I close that bar. And then I have another G. But this time it is that of a meaning. And it has been slurred. It has been slurred to a C. So there are two ways of putting the slur. So I can click on the slur and then I enter and it is going to have a slur like that. So the next note is it's, it's a C. I already have the, the minimum highlighted, but I also have the slur has been highlighted. But I don't want the C to be slurred to another note, to the next note. So I undo, I, I uncheck on that icon to ensure that the C will not be slurred to the next note that I'm going to put. So when I press enter, the slur adds in that C. But if I didn't undo this one, then it means that it would have been carried forward to the next note, which I didn't want. So the next thing, another way of putting this would have been to just highlight and click on the slur icon. So like that, again, would have done it. Okay.
So the next thing is that we have a master repeat clause. So we have a, a repeat mark, which is that of a master repeat. So how do I pull that? So you go to the bar selectors and you can see the master repeat open and master repeat close. So I use the close one, okay, to show that we are going to repeat. So after that, um, we have some other notes there, um, which I'm going to put so that we come to the end of our song. So we have a C again, which is, which has um, a staccato like that, another staccato like that, and then you have a B with a staccato, and then you have a G with a staccato, and then we have an F, but before that we have a bar line and an F of a dotted medium. There we go, and then we have a crochet or rest. So I press on three and the space bar on my keyboard to put the rest. So that's where our song comes to an end. So